Well, that's a little confusing. Mountain bikers, trail runners, expect bears, no bikes. Which one is it? Share the trail, bikes. That's really confusing. All right, well, I could have used a bike. Oh well, here we go. Welcome back to Anything Outdoors with Steve. Today we're on a last minute adventure. This was a decision I made this morning. No planning. So of course I was panicking, trying to charge all my batteries, make sure I was ready to go. So we had a little bit later start going just because it wasn't planned. I figured I didn't get enough punishment yesterday with my bike ride. So I said, let's get some more miles under our feet. Today's adventure is about a 12 mile, 3000 foot elevation gain. And I'm gonna hate every last minute of it. <laughs> I'm already tired. <sighs> but here we go. Sounds like a turd of hurdles behind me. I'd let them pass, but the line is so long. Got about eight guys there, maybe 10. Oh, horses. That's what I'm hearing. The turd of hurdles. <sighs> Sound like a turd of hurdles coming up behind me. Yeah. <laughs> How far are you guys going? Big Fisher, man, I should you, just uh, hitch a ride. Are you guys driving down there? I'm in, I know I saw that trail too. I'm in the little black car. Oh. Yeah, but uh, I saw the trail of liquid leaking. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was water. Or... Yeah. Uh, looked like something liquidy. This one's a little stupid, so. Perfect. They're heading up to Big Fisher also. Here we go, the race is on. They win. All right, snack time. Today we're snacking on the go. I've only gone, I think maybe two or three miles of my 12. Getting chewed up by the flies. It's almost time to swap the battery. We're having a good time though. Oh. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. The old last minute adventures. Often my nighttime adventures are some of the more memorable. As reminded recently by one of our kind followers, Carol. Thank you for watching. But just talking with her reminded me that some of these night adventures are the most memorable. I had a good time on many of them and they probably stick in my memories a little longer just because they're unusual. Ooh, almost dropped my food. <laughs> and this, I can guarantee we're leaving in the dark. In fact, by the time I get to the destination, it might be dark. This is a long hike. I'm not even halfway there yet. Even when I make it there, I'm not halfway there yet. <laughs> Technically, I'm not halfway to the destination. All the bear grass is stalking. I'm not sure what kind of grass this is. All the tips are red. It's really cool looking. And I'm on the dehydration mode already because I'm not drinking enough. I put tons of electrolytes in the water this time. But I have to actually drink it.
I'm keeping about a two and a half mile per hour speed. 3.2 is the max. We've gone two and a half miles in our hour. So we had nine minutes of downtime. Admittedly, this is my first trek out here. But I highly enjoy side cut trails like this onto the mountain. It gives such a cool view. Speaking of the back, I understand why I feel compelled to get as many hikes in as I possibly can. Because I don't know how long I can physically do it. Which is sad to me. Also the reason I record them. And it might be more painful knowing if I watch these in the future and unable to hike anymore, if it'll be depressing. I guess time will tell. If it becomes too depressing, I just won't watch them. Quite a stunning view. I can imagine with some nice cloud cover that's just contrast instead of pure cover, fluff clouds. It's really awesome. Oh, hiker groups coming up behind me. They got their second win. Fisher is. Oops. Let's... No, not Fisher. Sorry. I I don't know if I said Fisher before. I meant Trout Lake. So it looks like the trail will drop down here to the left. I've hit about 200 miles with these shoes and I'm busting out the side now. Right there. There they are. Turd of hurdles. Got the whole line back there. So you got your second wind. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Trout Lake.
Y'all camping down here? Yep. Okay. I see a spot. <laughs> Big Fisher. All right. Yeah. A few more miles to go. Yeah. Have a good one. Oh, I'm right, right in the mix here. <laughs> Trying to decide if I want to fly the lake or not. Y'all just a group of friends or some sort of group? It's a boys, it's a, it's a, it's a boys camp that we do. Okay. It's about two weeks long. Um, oh, really? Well, only a six day backpacking trip. Gotcha. But, but a canoe trip and have them do a bunch of other things. Okay. So you're one of the leaders? Yep. Nice. Me and the guy in the back. Yeah. Yep. The double packer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately felt sorry for him because I've done the same thing. <laughs> so is this a boys youth group then? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Boys come from different places around the states. One guy's from Canada. Really? That's awesome. What church? Yes. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, where are you from? Coeur Okay, cool. Yep. So, familiar. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah, some of the more favorite hikes out yeah. here. Yeah. They've got some stunning lakes. Oh, absolutely. It's nice for backpacking and stuff. Oh, I know. I've never been up to fish here. I like to go fishing. Oh, it's, it's going to be brutal. Yeah, I bet. I'm going to regret it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might fly this real quick. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Zoom. All right. Got a little wind. Let's go for this. I'm going to hop on over to that. Take a little reprieve. See if I can get squishy shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not stepping on that. <laughs> That's going to be cantilever. If Engineer Grant were here, he'd tell me for sure. Okay. Lost my pull again. All right, squish, hop, hop. Only a little wet. And up we go. There we go. definitely picked up so I called it quits for the drone actually hit some branches too right there all right let's take that route let's not let's take the route we took few hours of sunlight left. Moving quick. Right. 
All right, we're down to four more miles. Ish. Enjoy your night. Yes, Good luck. I'll see you in a, oh, six or eight hours as I'm coming back down. <laughs> yes, sir. Are you going up to the helicopter crash? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. I'll see if it's not windy, too windy to fly that thing. Yeah. All right. So I've got about 800 foot elevation to go. And every one of those feet is going to suck. And I got to drop back down to the lake. <sighs> it's not so bad. Flattened out. Oh, that's awesome. Another mile to go. <sighs> Tell you what, that last mile always feels like the absolute worst. <laughs> Often I'll close out our trail saying, well, survived another one, just a mile to go. <sighs> Mostly because that last mile drags on for so long well I don't get to say that yet because I'm still on my way in and still have a mile to go blues in the water are just barely there I think the uh, sun is already set behind the mountain behind me. So this becomes kind of a, a dark bowl after maybe three, three o'clock. <clears throat> yeah, the mosquitoes are pretty thick down here. So that'll also limit our time. I don't want to get chewed up. Actually, it's the biting flies that really give me the itches. Some of the mosquito bites are not so bad. Oh, that's a nice camp. All right. Welcome to the Big Fisher Lake. some really cool shots. I'm gonna go around to the rocky side of the lake, looking back towards the exit, and see what we see that direction.
the mosquitoes are, are pretty bad. Not the worst mosquito season I've ever seen, but they are really crowding around me. I am highly popular. One less. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Got bitten back in the neck. Got bit on the shoulder. <laughs> See if I can keep my promise. I don't think I can. in the wind. I'll be a little more protected from the mosquito bitings. Get out of those trees. Oh, you're gonna come in for some schmoozing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's your names again? I, I forgot already. Gib and Nate. Gib, Nate. Okay. Nate, Nathan. I usually put try to get it on video so I can refer back. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Ranahan. Why the long face? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm the worst part about my YouTube channel. <laughs> I get that. Got a little baby papa. Yeah. Nice big zoom. Now we'll see if I can keep up. Up with old Hank, he did huh? better going down it than oh, it oh my like gosh, he got me. <laughs> His mule was also tied, but so he has a excuse. Yeah. You did real good. <laughs> yeah, well, looking at that trail that was coming down, yeah, that was, that was some pretty good stuff. Even I was slipping out every so often, yeah. losing the traction. That one oh, bit where it was all rock, yes, scared me. Cause he has shoes. Shoes have no grip. If they're yeah, barefoot, yeah. they have better grip. He has no grip. So he kept his feet really good though. Gotta keep those mosquitoes off you, you know. Don't get those mosquitoes on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Yeah, look at that. That one goes straight over the top and these two go around. 
Why is Hank? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to keep up. <laughs> there we go. Gibbs got my pack on the horse. I'm getting a free ride out. Well, half a free ride. <laughs> Less of a backbreaker. All right. Say goodbye to Big Fisher Lake. Beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> Chasing squirrels. At least I still get to be out of breath at the top. <sighs> Got a niche? Oh, way. Maybe. Oh, well. Can't win them all, right? But I did kill that mosquito. <laughs> All right, Fisher Lake is pretty mosquito filled, and the sun sets on it early. Oh my gosh, that's a butt kicker. I've hit the flat spot again, another 50 feet elevation and we're out of here all downhill from here yeah well, it, yeah there's no no hope there you go. oh thank you sir oh yeah I can't wait to put that on my back <laughs> well you got downhill pole now anyway. yes yeah there's only a couple uphills that's awesome. Got the one bright cloud in the background. <laughs> that might have been, well, now we might have a few more sprinkles. <laughs> Did you get a sprinkle? A couple. I didn't notice one. Yeah, there's so few that it's it's hardly anything to be concerned about. I'm going enough faster that they miss me. Yeah, that's it. All right, thank you so much, Gib. That was oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. That's a small if, thing to if, do for a if, feller. If only I had a gallon of tranny fluid to trade, or 10. <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, I don't think I even. I've got a quart of just engine oil. I've never considered hauling transmission fluid. Yeah, well, I had a quart in there just because. Yeah. If you uh, if you run into anybody on the trail, you could uh, say, "Hey, if you have transmission fluid, throw it in the horse trailer." <laughs> yeah. Well, right in the driver's seat, be fine. I okay. The truck didn't even lock. Okay. I don't think the windows are even up. Hmm. Well, I don't hear any ghost stories. No, not yet. We're getting there. Come on. <laughs> How was it? Well, I was about two to three hours too late. <laughs> so they already hauled the chopper out with another chopper. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, yeah. You so where it was and I did. Yeah. There was still a couple chunks of metal that they had missed. So I gave that to the guys on the horse. Okay. Yeah. So that was Gib and Nate. And. They gave my pack a ride back up to the top of that hill because, my gosh, that 1,200 foot 
elevation drop oh, going down to the lake just yeah, too much yeah. you've been hiking quite a few miles this oh time. yeah 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 it's it's stupid yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad you didn't see it i know i was hoping yeah but yeah it would have it really would have but oh well you win some you lose some yeah. you know what they say about plans yeah <laughs> yeah you got a fun hike out yeah of oh yeah. yeah yeah it was still a good story yeah. you trying to get out before dark yes yeah, yeah. there's there's a chance <laughs> I, i've got three flashlights and uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm fine so cool. yeah always always prepared for extended i'm glad you came and here because we were thinking about going up there tomorrow you, you can do it out, but, but yeah it's yeah, too late for the chopper yeah, at least yeah, yeah. it's a but, pretty lake but my gosh, that drop down whew. kills you. It does. Yeah, especially with those packs that we have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I would uh, suggest day hiking it. Yeah. <laughs> because, like I say, you know, this little bit, four miles in, four miles back, nothing. Uh -huh. But yeah, if you're hauling all your gear up there, that's a different story. Yeah. Water and food. Yeah, that's all you need. And cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take one last gander at the lake and get out of here. Oh, I will. Yeah. Yes. Let's see here. <sighs> All right, Trout Lake. Yeah. This is pretty. Say goodbye to Trout Lake, everybody. And hello to the rain rolling in. <laughs> they had a long house of tarp there. Sleeps 20. 800 a night, no pets. Just beautiful. Getting bit again. I like that layer of clouds way back there. Oh, that's not clouds, that's mountains. <laughs> fool. You fool. I was gonna say, man, the bottom of them looks so sharp instead of fluffy like what we've got up here. Oh, missed that stupid bitey fly. That is gorgeous. I do like the contrasty storm clouds like that. We go. <sighs> A little micro break. So I think I decided the mud that was packed into the pine needles down there was from the snow melting and piling up mud and it actually was mud collected in the pine needles. And the mud probably came from an avalanche because that's steep enough. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. That's right. <sighs> and 
this right here is why I never get anywhere fast. Man, it sure does feel like time slips away so quickly. It's just mind boggling how fast the years fly by. that long ago and I was one of those kids hiking into the mountains we have about five miles left I'm not making five miles an hour I think it gets dark around 830 roughly What do you think? Place your bets. Am I coming out by flashlight? Let's find out. All right. Looks like we survived another one. Just a mile to go and we're out of here. All right. 8.47 and we made it back to the road. That's unfortunate. 